Good evening. My name is Michael DeWitt, and tonight we travel to San Antonio, Texas for your first day of class at one of the world's finest non-accredited education destinations, the San Antonio Learning Annex. This sleep story is written by me, Michael DeWitt. Our story begins right on the world-famous San Antonio Riverwalk, a beautiful city park a network of walkways along the San Antonio River, lined by bustling bars, scrumptious shops, relaxing restaurants, and nascent nature. Now, keep walking 13 blocks northeast until you find yourself at the front steps of a former sizzler that has been stripped of its dark green awnings and repainted desert brown. Welcome to the San Antonio Learning Annex. As you grab the cold steel handle on the front door and pull it toward you, you think to yourself, what infernal delights await me on my first day of class? Just as you enter, a fellow student in a green army jacket and a maroon backpack greets you with a warm smile and a friendly wink. You return the smile to this stranger. However, winking on command was never a skill you acquired. On your right, you see a cork board with business cards, flyers, and other printed advertisements for the various classes offered at the San Antonio Learning Annex. One flyer catches your eye for a business management class with a photo of the instructor, a wide-faced man with a thick mustache and ocean blue eyes. Next to this flyer, you see an FBI wanted poster for a suspect accused of robbing several banks in the San Antonio region. You notice an uncomfortable resemblance between the instructor of the business management class and the suspect in the FBI wanted poster. You ask yourself, should I say something? What am I obligated to do here? This can't be on me. You look around and then slowly walk away. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you are laying comfortably in bed. Let your breaths come and go as they please like the members of your dad's punk band when you were a child. Some days you'd arrive home from school and the bassist Creaky Kenny would be standing alone in your kitchen, holding a nearly empty box of cereal over his head and shaking the last three Fruit Loops into his mouth. You'd ask Creaky Kenny where dad was and he'd laugh and say something like, Katmandu. A few hours later, your dad would come home, stumbling and angry, and he would accuse Creaky Kenny of loosening the headlight bulbs on his 1986 Dodge Ram Charger. How's the breathing going? Ah, resplendent. We return now to the San Antonio Learning Annex, inside Classroom 7, where you are seated in a bright orange plastic folding chair. Your instructor stands at the front of the room, putting the finishing touches on his lecture on installing drywall. I mentioned the class you're taking was about installing drywall, right? Also, sorry, while I was talking about Creaky Kenny, the class was going on and you missed most of it. Don't worry, however, you can download the PowerPoint slides that your instructor used. 
Unfortunately, he gave out the URL verbally while I was talking about Creaky Kenny. Anyway, you should be asleep by now, so you would have missed it anyway. Creaky Kenny actually went on to get his real estate agent's license, and he told your dad never to contact him ever again. He goes by Ken now, and his wife was in Maxim Magazine in 2004. I actually saw them at the Riverwalk about two years ago. They were yelling at each other outside a baby gap. You can still hear their yells now, in the recesses of your mind, as you drift off into a deep, restful, resplendent sleep. <laughs>